So at this point, we have everything in slot that we need. We have Git, we have CMake, we have Qt and our compiler, we have Python. So now let's go ahead and install our integrated development environment, the IDE. And uh, this is a program called CLine. Obvious punny reasons, and uh, the company that makes it is called JetBrains. So uh, the URL actually is jetbrains.com slash CLI. So we can bring that up and we'll read it with the um, CLI website. And uh, JetBrains, um, of course, is a commercial company, and CLI is a commercial product. And uh, this one, however, and, well, actually, all of um, JetBrains products, which are a variety of IDEs, are available for free with uh, an educational license. So if you sign up for uh, a JetBrains account with your kysu.edu address, uh, they will give you a um, educational license that you can use uh, to download and use the uh, professional products, all their professional products, including their Python IDE called PyCharm and uh, Java ID, IntelliJ, and a couple more. So they have uh, really, really good products. Um, okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, download um, this thing. And um, again, you can either go with the uh, free trial first, but you can also uh, sign up and uh, get uh, um, your uh, um, C Line or JetBrains account so that uh, you can actually already. Get the license so i will use of course my education license as you will see um, so let's uh, open up the installer and as always with these things uh, so as you can see here it's a fairly big um download so uh you can um, go with the uh uh, defaults here, and depending on whether you uh, are down the road also uh, prefer to actually use uh, Visual Studio or any other IDE, uh, you can associate the uh, uh, classic file extensions for C and C++ development with J uh, with the C line if you want to. Um, for me, it's uh, just uh, perfectly fine to stay with the uh, defaults. Um, it's always here, and uh, I put it in. Under JetBrains into the start menu, and then it starts installing. So CLAN has been uh, installed, and uh, now we can actually uh, run it. And this is something that uh, we should actually do right now. Um, it's in the start menu, but let's go ahead and uh, actually start CLAN real quick so that you get an idea on how this looks. And then we'll do the additional configuration. So right now we don't have any uh, settings to import from other IEs or any other as always, um, all these things don't send usage statistics. Um, pick a theme, dark or light. Um, dark uh, dies on the eyes um, uh, right now, however, for higher contrast in the video, the, I'm going to go with the uh, light version. Um, then uh, there are a couple of uh, plugins uh, um, enabled, of course, by default. So uh, there are definitely is a version control plugin that you'll need. Um, the web development plugin we can leave alone. There are uh, some other uh, things for uh, XML uh, development and to um, have an interface with the terminal. So defaults here are nice and uh, OK. As um, far as the uh, feature plugins go, so there's nothing uh, there right now that you need to uh, look into unless you uh, really uh, like to um, play around with other programming, which is like Lua or Rust. Uh, there are other 
plugins uh, that you can install later that are sort of useful. In particular, there are Markdown plugin, but right now we just start using C line regularly. And then here we can uh, configure the uh, toolchain. And uh, so you see here that there are a couple of toolchains um, uh, that you uh, uh, that are predefined. And we uh, definitely want to go with the MinGW toolchain. But remember that our MinGW is already installed on the system using um, Qt. So let's uh, go ahead and do this. And as you can see here, it uh, did uh, find CMake. It did not yet. Uh, find our uh, MinGW environment. But we know where this is. We can either download um, a MinGW uh, version, but at that point we'll have to match it with what we did for Qt. Uh, so we're not going to do that here. So we're going to um, definitely going to point it to um, the uh, Qt directory. And there we're going to go to 5.1.4 and then MinGW 7.3.64. And that should be enough for C line to actually find our toolchain, um, which is. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the uh, wrong one. So, uh, yeah, so we need to go to uh, Qt and then um, uh, we're going to have the tools directory and then uh, we have our MinGW set up right here. And uh, let's do this. This time around, it found it. Um, it found all the tools it needs, and our tool chain is set up. So, um, and that's one of the reasons why we went through so many previous installs, so that we have everything in place um, to actually finally then build and import the tool chain into C line. Um, doing this after the fact is much more complicated than setting everything up into the Order. So now we can actually start using C-Line and we are greeted with the opportunity to uh, open new projects. You see here that uh, there is also um, a option to say use CMake project from sources and the nice thing about C-Line is, this is one of the reasons why we picked it in the department, is that uh, C-Line's native um, project file format actually is CMake, so it expects configuration for the project in CMake format and automatically knows how to execute and run CMake to uh, configure and execute the build. So uh, uh, from that perspective, we have a very nice, tightly integrated, but yet very flexible toolchain set. So that's it for installation, and we are about ready to um, um, run our first project.